John uh, and Stanley, they just met on a beach randomly and then John's offered to fix Stanley's <laughs> surf ski. So it's awesome. Three weeks after awesome. I found my surf ski. <laughs> yeah, three weeks. So let's see how this goes because it's only going to take a couple of hours. Um, as you can see, it's not actually not that serious. No, it's not bad at all. Is it going to leak? If I... No, no, it won't. Because it hasn't, it hasn't gone through that inside layer. You've just taken basically the gel coat over the top because this is being the corner. It has more gel coat than, than uh, you know, along oh. the flat. I should add a bumper. <laughs> <laughs> They're like no, bumper cars. Yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll be fine. So you sell the carbonology uh, yeah. surf skis. Okay. Yeah, look, I, I'm a South African. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been I... in Hong Kong for about five years now, just mm -hmm. short of five years. Yep. And uh, I've been paddling for the last 27 years, going down rivers, rapids, mm -hmm. where you have three or four days. Right, right, okay. And you crack your boat. And you have to, you know, fix your boat right. so that it's ready the next morning. Mm. So I've done many repairs. Thank so. you for letting me record. <laughs> no worries. And, <laughs> and John, you do carbonology in Hong Kong, right? Correct. Okay. When did yeah, you start? I'm, I'm importing uh, oh. carbonology from yeah. South Africa. Oh, okay. They have a wide range of boats, uh, right. surf skis, K1s, OC, okay. which is an out, outrigger and accessories paddles and all sorts of uh, okay. accessories you know and uh, they're all custom made in the factory and how do people get in contact with you uh they're welcome to uh, contact me on whatsapp okay yeah and and uh i'm prepared to help anybody who's starting off as well uh -huh. you know to to um sort of coach yeah. them get them into a surf ski okay first let me get some containers yeah, it's fine because it's a small, you know, we don't need much. How did you damage your kayak, your surf ski? I was being very careful with my surf ski, you know. Yeah. But I forgot to be careful when I finished paddling and I scratched it on, on the wreck. It must have the, been the very painful. I know, I know. <laughs> Is this, this here is pretty solid. I don't have to chip it off. Okay, so now we need the hair dryer, which is here. This should blow the dust out. And then uh, any moisture. Yeah, it won't be long, you'll be back on the water. Mm. It's best not to cut it. Uh, it's best to tear it so so that you don't have an edge. Mm. It's it sort of tapers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for example, you know, if I go and cut this now, it's gonna it's gonna have an edge on it. Whereas if I just tear it, it won't. Try and avoid getting this on your arms and your legs. On your hands, it's okay, because it itches. This one? Yeah, it's fiber glass. Yeah, yeah. It, it, go, it penetrates your skin. Yeah. You can. Oh. I'm going to have to cut a little piece to fit inside there. This one makes the resin stronger. Yeah, be, being a material with, with uh, resin, it's stronger, as opposed to just a blob of resin, because mm. then it can chip easy, easy. So Stanley's just asked John how many times or how often he fixes his surf ski. I think it's in preparation that he's going to keep damaging it. Yeah. <laughs> it's more than enough. Okay. Yeah. Just fix your own mess. <laughs> Say that again. Always what? Always fix your own mess. You're not My fixing your own mess. My advice to your audience. <laughs> always fix your own mess. And his second advice, have a friend who can fix your boat. <laughs> yeah, so this you just mix in. And it changes color slightly. I'm just mixing the hardener in with the resin. There is a ratio you can check on the, on the container. Uh, yeah, but I mean that this isn't structural, so a hot mix is fine. Because the the more hardener you put in, the more brittle it is. So it can crack, but that won't. That, there's no movement there. Mm. It's, it's solid. So so you can do a. a it's five to one ratio. Now, when I say a hot mix, if you put a lot in it, it actually gets hot because it's a chemical reaction. Look, if it does run, it's not a problem because it, it, it comes off and sand it off. So I've got to wet the area with resin mixed. As I say, better to rather use gloves. So you can see uh, it becomes see-through, transparent, the fiberglass because the resin is, is penetrating. You can feel that re that resin is slightly warm because if, if you, if you, as I say, if you do a hot mix, 
can start yeah, trying before you finished. This is slightly okay, thicker, yeah. thicker resin. So it's better. Well, it's expensive, so let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, it's quite you, should, you should just tell him it is better, yeah, it's better. to spoil his peace uh, of mind. I just use the basic <laughs> resin, it works. It does the job. As I say, if you're building a new surf ski, a new boat, then you probably want to use that quality. So John, you're fixing it this way. Um, are there many different methods of doing this? Or is it just slightly oh, different? Slightly, yeah. yeah. Look, people have got different ideas. Yeah. But this is the basics. Uh, if you've got a large area, mm -hmm. you use a roller mm -hmm. to roll the, the bubbles out. Right now, as you can see, I'm filling the I'm filling the hole up. It's becoming smaller and smaller. Mm. You can see uh, it's becoming full. And then I'll stick the I'll, I'll stick the tape around. So that there's less sanding at the end mm. when I want to try. Yeah, it's all up Yeah, look, now. I mean, it's, yeah. it 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 it, it looks a bit easy. rough now, but once once you've sanded it, yeah, it's looking good. You won't you won't even you'll hardly be able to you won't notice it much. And then how long will you wait to? It'll probably be dried by this evening, but tomorrow morning it'll be dry enough. Okay. But when do we use the sandpaper? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done today and then Stanley needs to come back tomorrow or the next time he kayaks, he just needs to sand it down. So I'll make another video of that.